Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. You mentioned uh, Trump's, quote, anti-war stuff. I, oh, yes. I find that amusing as well. Oh, Joey. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the new lie is, no wars under Trump. Have you folks seen this on social? Chris, have you yeah. seen this? Oh, yeah. No, no new wars under Trump. Oh, yeah. We haven't had a new war legally since December of 1941, you imbeciles. Thank you. But, but I, I got so tired of the very people who 20 years ago were calling us un-American because we didn't want to get on board with Bush and Cheney's evil war and occupation for profit. Mm -hmm. And now we were proven right and they hated us even more. And now these are the people, these warmongers, who are saying, oh, Biden's still got all these wars going on, not under Trump. Okay, Putin, who you're not allowed to criticize, Republicans, started the war. Israel and Hamas has been going on for many, many years. Right. Joe Biden has nothing to do with any of this. And again, these people saying Trump didn't start any wars. Donald Trump put on a cute little miniskirt and got some pom-poms and cheered for Vladimir Putin's evil war and called it genius mm -hmm. and savvy. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of got started, Jody, and wrote like a whole list of 22 different ways that Donald Trump was never an anti-war president. So it got, it got a little long, but there's so much evidence. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it, you're right. And, and the, when the president was blamed for the withdrawal out of Afghanistan, which we all wanted, that was Donald's plan. And yes. he was just fulfilling. And they, remember when Donald left the White House, they didn't do a good transition with the current president. So there was a lot of stuff that they had to catch up with because a normal president would have said, here's a transition team. This is what we're doing. These are the plans, blah, 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 blah. And Donald just, it, it, I do not understand anybody that's undecided. Can you explain that to me? <laughs> yeah, sure. Every Taliban that was shooting at our troops as they left Afghanistan was put there by Donald Trump yep. and Mike Pompeo. Exactly. Donald Trump and Mike Pompeo freed 5,000 Taliban who had been sitting in Pakistani prisons. Mm -hmm. Now, that, that's not all of it. I mean, I mean, Donald Trump was the first president to bomb Syria. Mm -hmm. uh, in Iraq and Syria alone, Trump drone strikes killed uh, over 13,000 civilians, according to Air Wars. Uh, Biden stopped all that. Trump bombed Yemen. Trump bombed Somalia. Trump assassinated a foreign military leader. Trump threatened to invade Venezuela. Trump threatened nuclear war against North Korea because yep. he is stupid. Um, Donald Trump relaxed the rules of engagement in Afghanistan, which doubled the civilian casualties. And he pulled out of the Iran nuke treaty, even though our military was begging him not to because Iran was complying. Donald Trump invited the Taliban to Camp David yep. for 9-11. He is not an anti-war president. He increased the troop levels in Afghanistan by 25 percent. And not to put too fine a point on it, brothers and sisters, he launched a terrorism attack on the U.S. Capitol to stop democracy and end our 240 year peaceful transfer of power. No, Donald Trump was not the peace candidate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You rock. I need to start memorizing things that you say. Uh, you have some uh, breaking news about RFK Jr. and the uh, accusation uh, listen, against I mean, him. I don't want to, I don't want to slow the momentum here or nothing uh, for <laughs> RFK. Uh, but yeah, here's, here, here's the headline. Uh, it turns out that the, one of the women who accused him of sexual assault he uh, he wrote a text apologizing to her. Um, he wrote a text apologizing to a woman who accused him of sexual assault. This will not hurt him with voters in swing states who just want Trump. Very true. Uh, yeah. Very, very true. But that's just, is this a recent text or it was at the time? Is that the reporting? Uh, the, the, the story just broke. That uh, and this is and, and Michelangelo Signorelli of Sirius XM Progress uh, uh, sent this to me, but it's in the Washington Post today mm -hmm. that a wo the woman who accused him of sexual assault that he texted her late at night, okay. um, apologizing and saying he didn't remember it and any harm he caused was inadvertent. Wow! So he did it. Whatever uh, it she says. The second worst sexual abuser running for president this year. Yeah, and dog eater, apparently. Uh, and dog eater, apparently, yeah. yeah. Um, so. um, but he said he went on Chris Cuomo, uh, and by the way, wasn't that a summit? He went on Chris <laughs> Cuomo and said he had never eaten people. And I'm like, well, you lost me with the dog eating, but you won me back by not being a cannibal. I'm a very He's never had mess. Soylent Green? He's never had Soylent Green. Somebody Listen, if the, if, the, if, the, if the Biden White House is afraid of, of, uh, of, of RFK Jr., 
if anyone's afraid of RFK Jr., he could take away votes in the swing states. It's the only reason he's running. I used to admire him very much. I love Ring of Fire Radio. He's done my show. I've worked with him before. Uh, just just Google RFK Jr.'s first wife. Just, yeah. just I don't even want to tell the story. Just Google his first wife. And, and if the White House is nervous, they'll tweet Google RFK Jr.'s first wife. Uh, because, you know... After Me Too, yeah. there's, stuff that, there's stuff that men shouldn't be able to charm away. I, I completely agree with you. Yeah. And I say this as a horrible man, by the way, as a horrible, awful person who's not saying he's better than anyone else. But uh, I, I, I never drove anyone to death. And, um, uh, you know, the Richard, uh, Tim Scaife, the number one donor to Donald Trump, is the number one donor to RFK Jr. Exactly. This entire campaign exists to strip votes away from Biden-Harris in seven states. Now, I, I think RFK is going to take votes away from Trump more than Biden because uh, of his anti-vax heard, stuff and things like that. And yeah, now maybe. You maybe. Know. I don't know. I don't know. I never I, I, I've heard that theory. A lot of people say it. I, I just think he's in it to hurt Biden. If RFK was going to okay. hurt Trump, Mellon would not be giving RFK money. Oh, I agree with you on that. Uh, I, I do. At my gym, RFK goes to my gym. In jeans and with no shirt. At, right. But mm-hmm. um, the people who have befriended him since his announcement mm-hmm. are the more Trumpy people mm-hmm. at my gym. Sure. So I, yeah, I, I, I do see it in real life. Okay. Yeah. So that's an anecdote that that is worthy, yeah. I think. Um, 